Hey, what's up guys? I'm AvalancheFam133 and this is my NHL 14 Be A Pro Goalie Mode. Today I'm facing the Toronto Maple Leafs in game number 42 on the season. We are just past, well, we're right on the halfway point. This will be the start of the second half of the season. Uh, two games passed since my last episode against the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, I lost 4-3. to three in overtime against the Kings. It shouldn't have really gone to overtime. I allowed two goals in the third for them to tie it, and then it wasn't a bad game by me, but it just kind of it wasn't good enough for me. <laughs> then I won 6-3 to three against the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, offense came alive, kind of saved my butt, although I didn't play terribly. There was two deflection goals and one rebound goal that nobody really helped me on that they just were all alone in front uh but it was not a bad game i almost had 40 shots against so it raised my save percentage um and here we are on the road against the toronto maple leafs i just answered a one of those questions and it was like go to your teammates to this restaurant or stay at home like the coach wanted i went to the restaurant so uh, my goalie is exhausted, and he's uh, lost like 15 to 5 hole. Let's see if I can remember everything. Nothing there. Uh, 15 to durability, 15 to endurance, and 15 to speed. So I, I thought this would be a good um, game to record because kind of showing off what can happen in Live the Life. So I'm 13, 10, and 4, I believe, and 3.6 goals against average, 88.6 save percentage. Brought up that save percentage a little bit. I want to keep bringing that up, and hopefully it can bring down the goals against average. I don't know if it will. Toronto looks really good on their uh, stars. I wish it would go back to the overall numbers, because, like, a lot of teams have that four and a half stars, and you can't tell really who's better. Uh, 81 overall. This should be interesting. No new injuries. Uh, Brown's still out, but I think he's coming back in the next few games or so. Uh, nothing changed in gameplay settings, so we'll get it going. I was considering changing the gameplay settings some to tweak it more maybe try out a few things but it's been better as of late so i've left it i like it to be challenging but not too challenging <laughs> and it, it's tough on this game i'm just trying to play through it maybe win a cup this year at least get into the playoffs this year and i can't wait till nhl 15 uh, Jonathan Bernier starting a net for Toronto. He's got some good numbers on the season. And we've, we're in 8th in the NHL, 4th in the Western Conference, which I think we should be 2nd by how it... I can't remember how... We're leading our division. I can't remember how it sets up. But there's three central division teams ahead of us in the West. I don't think it should be like that. I don't know. We're 5 3 and 2 in our last 10. We've been winning. Been pretty good lately. Uh, I don't feel much of a speed reduction right away, but I don't know if I'll notice it or not. Some work in the corner here. Goldman has it. Pass out in front. Bodker scores. We've been really good at striking first, really early, too. So Bodker gets his 23rd. Shoot. He's on track for, like, 40-something. Bernier staying down the whole time. Kind of gave uh, Bodker some room upstairs. Goldobin and Ekman Larson with the assists. Ekman Larson had, like... Two or three assists last game. He was a nice part of our offense. Offense that got six goals last game. It's nice that when my team gets a lot of goals. And we just overall played really well last game. Could we face? Crap, I can't even remember now. 
whoever it was, they got, they didn't get a lot of opportunities. Ooh, stayed with him, got the glove save. But they deflected in a few. Deflected in two. They knew how to fight for it. Toronto also 5-3-2 and two in that last 10. Face-off one by Hansel. Yandel sends it around. Kadri gets it, sends it around for his point man. Ooh! Made the pad save. Made a little move there. So far, not anything really good against me. I mean, they've had some decent opportunities. But I've been playing pretty well. Glove save, gonna hang on with Van Riemsdyk right there. Been playing pretty dang well lately. And overall, I just want to get my team the wins and get into the playoffs and hopefully make a long run. Win by Toronto, but it's poked off a stick. And we'll dump it in to the Toronto end. Ashton will move it up. Oh, I got stuck. Ooh, made the save. Toronto getting something going. Oh, my goalie somehow saw that. Oh, did not expect that spin around. And Toronto ties it up. Ashton with his fifth. That's a beautiful shot. Wrist shot down so he was all alone, but I was expecting the backhand. I should have been more patient and watched what he was doing, but I slid to my left, and he had a wide open net on my right side. Overall, it was a stoppable... Is that even a word? I don't know, but... <laughs> I should have stopped it. And that's how I'm grading myself. If I should have or could have stopped it, ooh, good save there, uh, then I'm not going to be happy. If it's a deflection, most of those, I couldn't have done anything better. Unless I was really badly out of position on the initial shot. Ooh, sent into the corner. Martinuk loses it. Trying to get it back, but couldn't. There's Bowman. Skating across. Getting pinned into the boards. Gormley gets it. And there will be a penalty on us. We allowed a power play goal last game. Toronto is fourth ranked at 19.6%. Glove save. We'll do the face off again. Our penalty kill has been solid this year. I think it's been a little shaky as of late. Like, we did allow one last game, and it seems like the percentage is lowering. Last I saw it, it was at 80%. In behind the net. Back out to the point. Lots of people in front. Gets blocked. Who gets blocked again. White back behind the net. Pass out. And he missed his man, and Hansel will take that. Skating up the right side. Hansel all alone, pretty much. Good shot on net, though, and saved by Bernier. It's Phil Kessel. He knows how to score it, and that just goes wide. Broke his stick. It does not get out. Fanuf tried the pass, got it blocked. Did not expect him to not shoot it there. Ooh, Van Riemsdyk with a chance. Okay. <laughs> Some pressure, big time. The penalty is over. Van Riemsdyk driving the net. Ooh, another, another save. Just staying down. Wow. They just kind of shot it into me a few times, but still. Staying strong. Mahalik has it. They did not get a power play goal, but had tons of shots. Phew. Definitely is a nice confidence boost, though. Lupo has it. Skated into the corner. His pass gets blocked. And we'll move it out. Phew. Uh, my last game, the other team... Why I? Oh, and he knocks it in. Wow. Strange goal there. Bernier trying to knock it out of the air, and it just kind of floats in behind him, and Bodker swats it in. 
Rutgers goal comes on a puck batted his second. in. Caught that one midair and drove it home. Boy, this could have made a highlight. Wow. Right here. He took a swing at it when it was up in the swing air. Swing and swat. He to, which was... Two to one now. Both goals com coming off Bodker. But the last team I faced, the last game, uh, the other team got a lot of opportunities early on, which kind of helped me get into a groove. And Toronto's getting a lot of opportunities here early on. I allowed a goal already, but I'm okay with that if we have the lead. Hands on the draw, he loses that. Franzen gets his shot blocked. Yandel will retrieve it. Pass, pass it up to Goldobin. Goldobin all the way across the ice to Bodker. Looking for his hat trick already. Oh, the pass almost got deflected in by a defender. Toronto. Who tried the one timer from the point. Missed it completely. It's Boland. Skate in on the left side. Don't know where it is. Okay. Made the save. Having a little trouble reading it so far, but it's not too bad. Mahalik. Oh, the rebound for Bodker almost had his third in the first period. Gormley has it. He gets a shot off, and it's deflected wide. Bodker trying to get it back. We're under a minute now. Bowman has it. Pass all the way across. Ekman Larson sniffs that out. Gormley gets slashed, and we'll get our first power play. Don't know if it'll happen before the end of the first. It will, as Bernier covers that. All A pluses so far. 2.7 seconds left in the first. We get our first power play, which should carry over into the second period. Hansel will take the draw. We're second ranked at 23.5. Yandel over to, I don't know, Korpakoski, I think, and he got stopped. That's the end of the first. Solid first for me. Solid first for my team. 17 shots. They only got one goal. We had 10 shots and got two, both by Bodker. And Toronto leading in the faceoff 6-4. to four. We get a minute 58 on this power play. Almost a full power play to start the second. Pass that up to Ekman Larson. Almost picked off there. And we are offside. I believe that's Yarncroc taking the face off. He loses that. Grabowski gets crushed. Toronto will dump it in. Ekman Larson. Ekman Larson finds it. Getting hounded, but gets that up to Bodker. Bodker Sorry, sir, looking again for his hat trick. Slapper gets deflected out into the stands. Hands on the draw. He wins it. Shot blocked. Boland sends it down. Yandel. But lately, I've been trying to stay a little deeper in my crease. Unless I know for sure they're going to shoot it. And like it's a slapper from the point, nobody in the way, I'll move out. But I feel like I can get across a little faster if I stay deeper in my net. And I mean, it's just a tiny bit. It's a tiny adjustment that's just helped me uh, play a little bit better. Uh, maybe not a little bit. Pretty well, I think. Korpakoski getting to move right in. Saved by Bernier. Hansel has it. Our power play's over. Yandel's shot gets blocked. And Toronto will move out with it with a big check-in behind the action. Bowman. Slapper just wide off the side of the net. Lupel finds it. Shot deflected in. Man, those deflections are getting annoying now. It's all tied at two now. As Bowman deflects it. 
I just opened right up those pads and he deflected it right through. Shot was going wide. Oh, that sucks, but it's 2-2. At least it's only tied. I can count on my team to get more goals, though. We've been on. Bodker finds it behind the net. Skate around. Looking for passing options. Ekman Larson, who deflected by handle on net, saved by Bernier. That's back to Larson, Ekman Larson, and the save by Bernier again. Toronto now has possession and uh, looking to move it out, and the net's knocked off. Don't know how that happened. Some shoving going on behind the net. Bowman's goal here in the second period, the only one scored, and it is Lupo will enter our zone with it. He'll get some room, save, big rebound, but Ekman Larson controlled that and got into the corner. Shinneman got that to Ekman Larson. Martinuk will shoot that on, and the rebound. I think that was Mahalik just backhanding that in. Such a quick play. That's a good it is Mahalik with his second. He, had the back end available. he, took it he just the drives the net and down. finds it and slides it right in between the post and the pad. Like, like nice. Now one. Three to two now. Not gonna be enough. Not gonna be enough. We're going back and forth in this game. Hopefully I can two stop two, them the from... Doing anything more. Oh, shot on save. Went five hole. Bolin with the shot saved on the blocker. Good checking, and we will move out with it. I'm not playing perfect, like my best right now, but I feel I'm doing pretty good. Reading the play a little better than in that first period. Kuhlman over to Ashton. Back to Kuhlman. His pass gets blocked by Falk in a good defensive play. Long pass out to Yarncroft, but it was too slow and he couldn't get a break. Oh. I think that was Korpakoski getting drilled. And the net's off. So 10 12 left in the second, pretty much halfway through the game. And we're up 3-2. And that puck will slide to center ice. Dumped in. Goldman after it on Franzen. He gets it. Oh, the pass just behind Hansel. And uh, Ekman Larson can't slap that on. He is fighting for it again. He gets it. Into the offensive end. Getting pinned in the corner. Kick back to the point. Hansel has it. Back to the point again. Shot, save, score. And there are two unanswered goals Rebound goal. Who was that, Goldobin? Yes, Goldobin with his 12th. Our offense has just been on fire recently. It's already four goals in this game. We just scored six last game. Gravity helps. That last We're just fighting for it. The is or not they Gormley and Bodker with the assists. Well, the 8.07 left in the, in the second, and I would love to go into the break up, up it goes to by two or more. Fnuff! Ooh, that might have been slightly tipped. He was right in that slot. Great position, but made the save. Martinuk with a heavy shot. Not able to be held on by Bernier, and Toronto will move out with it. <laughs> or not. Getting just hounded completely. That pass misses, and no icing. Must have been tipped. Mahacek will slap and miss. <laughs> Martinuk throws it on net. Save made. We're getting all the offensive pressure now. Into the slot, backhander gets blocked by Kadri. Fanuf finds it 
And he will move out. There will be a penalty on us. Most likely a holding call. Nice check. Unable to touch it up, though. Ooh, deflected wide. Van Riemsdyk. Pass to the point. Oh, boy. Made the save. Blocked a few times. I was just sliding all around there. Back behind the net. Back to the point. Don't know where it is. And it finds Kadri. And he... Just gets a wide open empty net. Boy, they were pushing for that goal. Did that go off my pads? I don't even know. It got like deflected. I don't think it hit me. Overall, I just couldn't see it in the mess of players that were just directly in front of me that was stoppable for me but it was a really difficult one pumped in that's three already two in this second period i i'm trying to avoid allowing more than one a period so far i failed this game last game i allowed one a period we're under a minute here in the second. 4-3. We get a one-goal lead. Kuhleman moving across. Nobody really on him. There we go. It's better. Dumped in behind the net. Toronto has it. Looking for one more opportunity. Getting pinned. Bouchard back to the point. Franzen shot save. No chance for the rebound. And that's the second period over. 25 shots for Toronto, not quite as many as they had in the first period. 20 shots for us. We are up 4 to 3. Toronto out hitting us 14 to 10. They also have the more time on attack, and they're leading in the faceoff circle. So, start of the third period. See if we can hang on and win this. It's blocked for enough. Gets to move right in. A very opportune goal. That's gonna tie it up. All tied at four now. Mm. Some bad positioning by me. That's a nice goal. Quick. You just oh, blocked it. My defender just well, trying to recuperate. It was well uh, Gormley and. Uh. Well, there's the goal they wanted, and they get it very early in the I don't know. So I just didn't expect that. Four to four. Still only tied. I got to tighten it up. Try to give my team a chance to win this. Four goals should have been enough to win it. Van Riemsdyk. Oh, rang it off the post. And that's off the blocker. Bodker will move it out. Up to Goldeman. Bodker still looking for that hat trick. Had two goals in the second or first and nothing in the second. Oh, moving out in front with Goldeman. Just kind of lost possession. He'll go out again. That's blocked, though. Fanuf sends that around for Gardner. Toronto will move that up. Fanuf, the one that tied it. Very light shot on. Dangerous, though. Yandel, slapper, save. Back and forth so far. Joffrey Lupel moving it up. Skating in behind the net. Still has possession after the hit. Still has it. Shot, save, in behind the net. Oh, rung it off the post. The rebound. Off the post again and off my back. And in. Oh, that was some bad, uh, just didn't move well. I gave him that shot. You should have buried that initial shot. Instead, I get saved by the post, then saved by it again, and then just doomed by myself. Toronto taking the lead here early. In the third. Boy. Not been good in the second and third in this game so far. 
handled a slapper save. I got to count on my offense. Grabowski. Move it up. Being pinned. Stone turns that over. Bowman. Shot on save. Grabowski. Save again. Ooh, one timer wide. Toronto really pouring it on now. Bodker again. He'll slap it on net. Bernier with the save and will hang on. Not been a good game, but we are still in it. Only down by one. Face off one by Toronto. Boland will carry that out. Still has possession. Not really getting pressured. Pass all the way to the point. Blocked. Ashton has it. He has no helmet. Pass back for Boland. Ooh, made the blocker save. Ekman Larson retrieves that. Wasn't in good position if there had been a second shot. Back to the point, misses its mark, and we'll have to retrieve it. Falk gets it up to Livingston. Skate it in, Martinuk, rung it off the post, and uh, McMillan finds that in behind Bernier and ties it. All tied at five. McMillan with his seventh. Ooh, it might have just trickled in even without him there, but Bernier could have gotten it. No, it was actually sliding away from the line. So we look for someone to get a game winner. Tied at five now. I'll tell you what, this has been a great anybody's game. 8.36 left. I've got to just forget about the rest of this game and start, start it new. Oh, boy. <laughs> got stuck. Tried to move out, moved out too far to my right, but made the save. Caught a break there. Korpakoski loses a puck. Gunnarsson getting pinned. Korpakoski finds it, but turns it right over, and Toronto will move out with it again. Lupel gets it. They're offside, so he'll dump it in. Stone. Up to Yarn Croc. Move it in on the right. Got by his defender. Shot save. Bodker with the hat trick. What a time for the hat trick. Taking the lead six to five. Shot taken. And a goal scored. That's that's a pretty goal. Gary was oh so wow. close to making a save, getting some of the puck, but there's been a lot of rebound goals here. Bernier not doing too good on that rebound control. Six to five. Okay, we have to be solid defensively, but not completely play in our own end the whole rest of the way. Oh, what a chance there, and he shot it up high. Close call. Livingston into the Toronto end, moving in. Pass back to Falk, his shot gets deflected up high. Fanuf retrieves it, getting hounded, getting pinned now. And he'll get that pass to Grabowski, but Grabowski did a lazy pass. Could have been easily picked off, but teammate not doing anything. That gets deflected wide. Yandel loses that to Bowman. Shot on glove save. 232 left. I have not played well, but I'm just grateful I have the chance for the win now if I just play well enough the rest of the way. Alright, we've already seen his goals. Tonto still leading in the hits. Face off in our end. Big face off. Won by Toronto, but poked out, I believe. Toronto will move up. We're under two minutes. Dumped in behind the net. Hansel with it. Gets the puck taken away. Phil Kessel getting pinned. Goldeman steals it. 
Nice pass to Bodker. We're under a minute. Gormley slapper on. Bernier save. Passes it out with no pressure. Connolly moves it up. Lupul now has it. Looking for options. A lot of people in front. Gets blocked. I don't think my goalie saw that one. Martinuk dumps it in to kill more time. Bernier still in net. He should move out when they get it into our end. Or closer to our end. And there he goes. Ashton has it. Ashton shot save. Good steal. Sent around. Stone. I wish he could just send it out, but they don't do that. That almost gets picked off. Korpakoski passed to Stone. It's looking like it is over. Dumped in. It will be over. Six to five. The final. A game where I was not at my best. My, my team scores six yet again. And gets us another win. Very, very nice. All A pluses. Probably shouldn't be all A pluses. At least not for the stats. Five goals off of 36 shots. Not too bad. I mean, 36 shots. I faced 17 in that first period and only allowed one. If I just... I mean, if I just cut down at least one of those goals, it would have been a decent night. Uh, Bodker with the first star with three goals and an assist. Goldman got the second star with a goal and an assist. Whew. Just really grateful for the win there. 86.1 save percentage, five goals against average. So not great, but you know we're winning. That's all that really matters, but I do want to play better. Also, my goalie was a little worse in that game. Some of the overall just taken down. Nothing new on milestones. I'd love to get another shutout someday. <laughs> so hard to come by. At least for me. Bodker had a big night tonight as he really racked up the points. How impressed were you with his performance? Uh, let's see. It's impressive, but I think that... Yeah, no, not that one. Not B. <laughs> He's been great at hockey. It's good to see it pay off. I'll say more like delighted. How about that? God, Bodker scored a hat trick. Are you impressed with his play? This is the same question, practically. Uh... Bodker has been playing fantastic recently. I don't know. Let's go with Y. One to fan, two to teammate. I'm trying to get the fan maxed out. So my next game will be Ottawa. I was expecting not to start any. And, okay, a shampoo company has offered me 250000 to be their newest spokesperson. Their reports of product causes hair loss. Fair, fans may disapprove. Uh, I'm out. I don't want to disappoint my fans. Woo! Maxed out. So I don't need fans anymore. I'm a fan favorite in Phoenix. And another question. You're between the pipes tonight. What do you need to do to help your team win? Uh, let's just go with the first option. One to fan, even though it's maxed out, and one to management. So I'm, I, I expected after the Buffalo game, none of my starts were scheduled, so I was expecting to maybe be benched for Toronto and maybe Ottawa too. But man, they've been starting me a lot. Maybe because we're winning a lot. Almost up on the All-Star game now. We'll take a quick look at player growth. I do not have anything quite yet. I think I'm going to go stick high, but I don't know. It's nice to see me back to 85 overall after that little uh, thing. Career statistics, 14, 10, and 4, 3.65. Goals against average took a little jump, and save percentage went down a little. Not bad. Season expectations as we wait for this to load forever. 
Um, so I'm going to be gone this weekend, so I don't think next episode will be delayed, but more than likely I won't get as many done in, uh, between episodes. Almost up on the wins. Wins and games played are the only givens right now. Five shot outs I don't think I'm going to get. And neither of those two. I've never gotten them. Top 40, doubt that too. Uh, so you could probably expect me to play Ottawa or the Islanders next episode. Uh, hopefully it won't be delayed. Uh, but now we are fifth in the entire league. Third in the West. I still think we should be like second because... Isn't it the top two divisions? Like... I should be second? I don't know. But just only there because they have a game in hand Chicago and Nashville and we are first in the Pacific got a nice lead seven point lead on Calgary and we are now in the second half so hopefully we can get to the playoffs quickly I kind of would like to not be started all that often but I don't know there's what like 40 games played left yeah 40 40 games left. Maybe, uh, I mean, assume that I'll play most of them. Maybe 30 now. Like 25, 26, or 27. I don't know. Anyways, that does it for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that to know when I post new episodes. Anyways, guys, I'm Avalanche Fan 133, and I will talk to you guys later.